Family from Nibiru know that when we conclude our prayers with Amen, we are in actuality giving worship and praise to an evil Anunnaki alien man named Marduk, who is also known as Amun-Ra in the Egyptian pantheon. Amun-Ra gave a decree thousands of years ago on earth that humans should honor and thank him by saying his name Amen at the end of their prayers. Amun-Ra, also recognized as Marduk in Sumerian text, was the chief god deity of Babylon and is an immortal Anunnaki alien who has covertly governed and owned planet Earth for millennia and still owns it now. Amun-Ra was responsible for initiating the significant pyramid wars in Africa and the Middle East over 50,000 years ago leaving the lands in complete desert due to the advanced weaponry that destroyed most plant life. His intention? He yearned to be the singular god revered by human beings who were engineered in the Garden of Eden. Each member of the Anunnaki royals was allocated designated periods in the cosmic constellations to govern and rule Earth. However, a significant great flood incident resulted in the overshadowing of Amun-Ra's designated time to rule. The Anunnaki and Atlanteans from Nibiru represented a diverse civilization. The Anunnaki royal family from Anunnaki and Atlanteans from Nibiru represented a diverse civilization. The Anunnaki royal family from Nibiru possessed a lineage that connected to both reptilian draconian and lyran syrian ancestries. This lineage, which arose 12 million years in the past, was the result of a peaceful union of marriage agreement between a royal reptilian female from the Orion Empire and a lyran syrian male from the Galactic Worlds Federation. This union initiated a brief period of harmony and additionally birthed a novel royal hybrid race. These warrior-like beings, muscular and exhibiting both various dark and light skin tones, the full-blood royals were said to have skin so dark that it would appear Arcturian blue to the human eyes and with facial attributes reminiscent of African Asiatic people, which is recognized in our ancient records today as the extraterrestrial Anunnaki royalty. They are the paramount monarchical leaders of the diverse civilization of Nibiru and, interestingly, they represent the dark-skinned, muscular gods that are depicted in ancient Sumerian civilizations whose heights are up to 8 to 10 feet. Deep within this lineage, Marduk was the son of Enki, Nibiru's eldest and most learned prince. Enki was born to King Anu and a servant woman of Pleiadian heritage. Widely recognized for his wisdom and might, Enki had a son Naki and him. Deuteronomy 22, 28, 29 reads like this. If a man happens to meet a virgin who is not pledged to be married and assault her and they are discovered, he shall pay her father 50 shekels of silver. He must marry the young woman, for he has violated her. He can never divorce her as long as he lives. This is one of the many clear texts in this gospel that showcases this deity was not the creator God that we believe in, but an alien man giving incentives for genocide and assault of modern human communities for his patriarchal gain and reptilian mindset passed down from his heritage. He was constantly in confrontations with his kin regarding his ambition to be the paramount deity of both humans and the planet in archaic eras. By pressuring the infamous Pharaoh Akhenaten of Egypt to introduce the concept of monotheism, insisting on the renunciation of venerating multiple gods who are really extraterrestrial beings and urging allegiance solely to himself as the sole and only god now known as Amun-Ra the sun disk god no longer keeping his Sumerian Babylonian name Marduk the canonized Bible specifically the books of Exodus Judges and Deuteronomy in truth depicts a conflict between humanoid aliens equipped with sophisticated technology conferred upon him 50 titles and designated him as their leader with 50 being a number of great import formerly linked to his uncle Enlil who Marduk supplanted as commander god of earth after his reign operating from an orbiting saucer-like craft or shining sun disk Amun-Ra's dominion extended primarily over regions like ancient Babylon and eventually after contest with his brother Thoth, ancient Egypt, he revealed
revealed his genuine form solely during a rendezvous with Moses on Mount Sinai. Furthermore, Marduk is recognized as the father of Nabu, the Babylonian wisdom deity, whose facial depiction is immortalized on the iconic Great Sphinx. Popular belief holds that Amun-Ra's lineage is intertwined with that of the ancient Egyptian monarchs and remnants of this royal genealogy, including the renowned King Tut lineage, persist in modern-day humans through breeding and genetic markers placed through advanced technology. Yet Amun-Ra's disposition was far from benevolent, with a distinct narcissistic god complex streak. Our souls have already ordained that we hour the light against the dark. As we continue in the age of Pisces, his dominion over our world remains unchallenged. However, once we enter the age of Aquarius, our souls will return to the higher astral dimensions and new Earth. His current whereabouts remain 